All right, welcome to The Rundown. It is Wednesday, May 25th. It is brought to us by Current. Banking is one of the few industries that hasn't been modernized by technology. Um, and that's where Current comes in. Current is a financial tr technology platform serving the needs of the people who are working to create a better future for themselves. Joey, they want you to get your money faster, help you move it faster, and okay. give you the tools you need to save it and spend it better than, other, better than ever. Um, other Current account features include getting your paycheck up to two days faster. That comes in handy. Um, new interest feature, which helps you earn way more on your savings, uh, and tools for money management. There's no overdraft fees up to $200, no minimum balance fees, and absolutely no membership fees. And they're not done. They've got a bunch of exciting things coming up this year that we're going to roll out, and that's why we are partnering with Current to help give feedback to the Rundown viewers. That's you guys. We're giving each of you, um, well, we're going to give 10 of you $100 each. Um, if you sign up at current.com slash to rundown, again, okay. we're going to be giving away $100 to 10 random viewers at current.com slash to rundown. So go to current.com slash to rundown, code rundown in the app for a chance to win. The giveaway will end Wednesday, June 22nd, so you got a month to do this. We love Current. We're going to get to our topics, but first, Joey, what the fuck is going on with your passport? I'm trying to fix it. He's going on a trip. He's going on a solo trip. And um, he was, I looked, I walked around the corner and Joey was taking some glam shots. He had his ring light set up on the white wall. I had two lights hanging out like this. I, have two, yep. I got everything done. Now, is it taboo? I did face two. No, on a, on a passport? It says don't do it, but it's like. That's illegal, I think. But they're not going to recognize me if I don't. What did you face to? Well, and I slimmed my jawline down. Yeah. And then I did put a <laughs> she, she did put an eye brightener on. You know what I a, did a bit of contouring. You know what a trick he taught me to do to slim your jaw? If you do this and you put your tongue on the roof of your mouth, it takes your chin and puts it up. Do this, balls. It puts the whole thing up. Is that up. gross? Well, you can do that as motivation. If you make your face slimmer, then it'll force you to lose weight to keep you motivated. Uh, who needs to lose weight? Certainly yeah, not listen, Matt, <laughs> Matt, you know what? I, got, I just got to go. Um, What's happening? Fact check, nobody needs to lose your weight. Exactly. Right nobody now. needs to lose weight. And that's, are we a body positivity show? Perhaps? Body pause. We're body pause. Very good. Now, this um, is the second time hosting. Do you think that you're special now? Yeah, I mean, I've always thought that I was. Now special. that everyone's back from um, that, <laughs> the woods, you're well, not the thing be doing is, this that if you look around the office, there's like 70 people here, and they just came to me. So <laughs> that kind of says, you know, where we're at um, in terms of my being special. But balls, uh, I'm very Patrick. happy to be doing this with you. I think we did one once before together. Have we? Yeah, I'm way back in the day. Yeah, we hang out. We We're usually gross. pop in. Balls will pop in when I'm on. He'll pop in when uh, yeah. he's on. And I usually pop balls in my mouth. And you usually pop balls in your mouth. Exactly. Pop okay. uh, balls is balls in your mouth. Where'd you get that shirt? This is a Balls Beachwear. It sure wow. is. Yeah, Balls Beachwear. Rumor has it there's a 30% off uh, sale. 30%? Starting tomorrow. And it's if Tuesday. you have the current app. That's the rumor. You can figure out if you can afford it. Um, Pro Bowl. Gunny Balls, the Pro Bowl is being uh, c considered being what is canceled that? <laughs> after lowest viewership in six Okay, years. so Joey. You know, no, stop. You know what the Pro Bowl is. The Super Bowl? Pro, the Bowl. Pro Bowl. What's the difference between the Super Bowl and the Pro Bowl? The Pro Bowl is like where, a bunch, was where the best players go in and half-ass it for like... The Pro Bowl is the only oh, it's, it's in Hawaii. I work, I'm an MLB guy. It's in Florida now. So I go, I go, to, the, I go to the All-Star game every season. Did they, you do? MLB yes, I do. With who? With my friends. <laughs> my friends. I have a very high-up friend. I can't name their name. Um, are they cis presenting? They're non-binary, um, and they work at MLB, and they are very high up. And I've been going for years. And, and I go to the, uh, now I go to the home run derby. I don't think he watches games. The, he sits there in the box and he eats craft services. You go to and the shit face drunk. I go to the home run derby. I go to the to opening blow. night. He doesn't do anything like that. And there's like performers, there's hors d'oeuvres, um, and then I go to um, a different party, and it's just a lot of fun. It's in Los Angeles this year, and I'm going. Are you? When is it? It's in uh, July, I think. Great. Well, the Pro Bowl's being canceled. You'd be devastated if MLV well, was Well, good. Canceled. Do you give a fuck? That's Travis no, Kelsey. So, that is Travis Kelsey. So oh. I got my hair cut next to him in LA once. Good Lord. Lord. Travis Hot Kelsey. Oh, He's my. He's a hot guy. Can, so, yeah, the fucking Pro Bowl. I will get boned up. Now, I will get erect. <laughs> the Pro Bowl, I mean, it's in Florida now. It's in Orlando, Florida. It's not in Hawaii anymore. Yeah. No one cares. After the season, they should cancel it. This well, Disney's happen. ruined Orlando for everyone now with their tax evasion. Well, and, you know. <laughs> That's a hot topic. <laughs> You know, let's talk about church and state beer. Where are you going on vacation by yourself? <laughs> to um, the Amalfi Coast. Oh, okay, that's really? nice. It's Hot what rich people do, Nate. Yeah, rich people do, Nate. It's you you make way there? too much money. No. Just he's going to blow Italian dick feel. while he's over there. That's pretty sick. Yeah. Uncut Italian Amalfi cock. Yes. As they say. <laughs> you ever been to Italy, Balls? No. Would you like to go? Well, he's been, no, he's been, I, to Italy. Honestly, he's been to the Jersey Shore. It's the I same honestly thing. have no interest in going to Italy. Exactly the same. I have no interest in going to Italy. None? I don't. Lake why? Como and I've New Jersey and Lake Como like, and Italy are the exact uh, same. Sweden. Sweden? Yo, you know why he wants to go to Sweden? Because the girls in Sweden oh, are the most yeah. beautiful in the world. Only fans girls. No, you he see had that? the Danish guy. 
Are Dana Swedes? Swedes from Iceland. I, are Iceland Swedes? No, that's a different part of the country. Yeah, the Blue Lagoon's They're in close. Iceland. Swedes I told him like I wanted to snorkel his cock in the Blue Lagoon. That's where I go underneath the water with a high mineral content and perform a fellatio on the gentleman. And try Daddy. to suck the last of any oxygen in his balls out just to survive. <laughs> now, it is a survival tactic. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff, fellas. All right, well, play... Uh, oh, wait, so why is it canceled? Not because of Mickey Mouse. Because no one gives a fuck yeah, and no one tries. And none of the players want to get hurt. Some of the good ones don't even show up. It's a free uh. vacation for run-of-the-mill fucking football players who are, like, on the cusp of being, like, what is it, all-stars? But it's all not even a vacation anymore. It's not even a vacation anymore. It's Orlando, Florida. Oh, it's not even in Hawaii? No, at least they used to look forward to bring their families to Hawaii. It's literally in Orlando. Cancel it. Oh. Cancel it. That's after cancel the season. It. Cancel at least like the MLB All-Star game growing up, I believe the winner got home field advantage in the World Series. Oh, who They're was making the them of the year. stay in Kissimmee, Kissimmee St. Cloud, not even in Orton in Orlando. That's where the hotel is, I heard. What's a Kissimmee St. Cloud? Kissimmee St. Cloud. It's, it's, it's Orlando for poor people. Interesting. Next topic. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Kate Moss is oh, testifying at the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. Once claimed that her and Johnny have done it in every room of Chateau Marmont. Ooh. There's 63 rooms. I actually read this as, as crazy as that is. You know, that's actually not that crazy. If you have a house, you're going to fuck in the house. If you go to a hotel that you're staying in, you know, 180 days a year and you get a different room, you're going to fuck in every room. But the craziest part of this story for me, now you remember, these, this was the it couple of the 90s. He oh, was yes. 31 when they met. She was 20. They have the famous poster of her, him laying on her stomach. She's got her tits out. It was a big thing. The craziest part about this, Kate Moss in her testimony said that they were so in love and she knew the moment she loved wow. him because Johnny Depp looked at her. He said, I have something in my ass. She goes, what the fuck are you talking about? He leaned over pulled his belt out, she went down to his butt crack and pulled out a Tiffany necklace. And that's, that's the moment she knew. That's what Buddy to me. I still have it. <laughs> the first time you enjoy it. I still have it. That's, that's it? The yeah. pepper? Yeah. Uh -huh. Is that a chili or what is that? chili pepper. Wait, okay, so I put them back together. How great would, if she come, uh. well, no, he's fucking his lawyer. We figured that out well, yesterday. Get rid of her. Right. Kate Moss is so much better. I was She's hot. Glenny Balls, Kate Moss, or Amber Turd? Uh, just by looks or the person. Who would you want to smash in the ass? Uh, her. <laughs> heard, heard, heard. What, and then orally. Turn. I got a picture of Kate Moss. Well, Turn will be cleaned up. That's her currently. This is her at the um, at the award show the other day. Uh, oh God, Johnny Depp. Johnny, I'm a, I'm young a Johnny guy. Depp can. Oh my Lord. You young, like him? Young Johnny, young Johnny yeah, Depp. Like Donnie Go Brasco. No, he he looks like a wizard. I don't like him. Yeah, Donnie like Brasco, he's very hot. Oh, that one. Well, then, you yeah. would reference Donnie Brasco. That's his best movie. Oh, Cry Baby. Yes. I'm, okay. So, yes. You know okay, now, like? okay, now, okay. That's a very that hot looks guy. Like the Supreme I don't like any type of graphic facial hair like that. Well, now he's got that silly little mustache. He looks like he's about to cast a spell on someone. No, thank you. <sighs> I'll take this one, though. Go to that blonde one. Keep going. I think Johnny Depp in his heyday was... Well, he, he came up Patricia, with... Patricia, am I in my heyday right now? Correct. Okay. He came got up him. with a lot of really good-looking guys with the Rob Lowe's and the Leo DiCaprio. Do you think it's my curious? People. That's why he's kind of been a sleeper. Do you think he's bi-curious? In terms of looks. I think yeah. it's confirmed he is. Everyone's bi-curious. Glenny Balls was bi-curious last summer on the I know, shore. I remember. I woke up a several times with him spooning me. Oh. Okay. Um, do we care Balls about I got was Kelly Keegs. <laughs> <laughs> um, do we... <laughs> do we... Have anything else on this yes, topic? Yes, I got. Did you? Yeah. I, I jumped up out of my bed with excitement. I said, "Oh my god!" He says hi to me. He work. texted me. I woke He's up from the deep DMs. Tank, you want to come over here and tell us what happened with your DMs? Yeah. I was so excited. Are you trying to smash Joey? So let me just let me just preface. He slid in the DMs late night. I was in my I was in my negligee. I just turned on my program. And I, I was like, I got a ding, and it was Frank the Tank. He turned on, he turned on season four of The Young and the Restless. Yeah, he's enjoying a nice glass of Pinot. Pinot Grigio. What happened? What Tank? Ha tell us what happened, Frank. I was hacked. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's saying now that I told the whole office. But I was hacked. You clicked the link. It was Meatspin.com. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was. I got no, no the next loss. They blew a game. And her season's now over. Hold on, hold on, hold on. About the hack. Mr. Bucky. Stop. About the hack. What happened with the hack? Who got sent to? Who clicked it? Well, Tim, I got a, a DM from Tim Brando asking me to sign a petition. So I figured, hey, you know, if Tim Brando, you know. Who's that? He is a college football, college basketball announcer on uh, Fox. And got it. What was the petition? It was to. Uh, basically kill uh, child molesters. Yeah. I mean, who's not going to sign that? Which is Honestly, good, yeah. Who is not going to sign that? I said, well, sign These people are laughing. Passionate. 
And Frank had the Frank had the wherewithal to send it over to Joey. I said Frank must be very passionate about the cause, so I almost signed it. And so I said, wait a second, maybe I should f fact check this. So I got to take best. DM too. I was very excited. I, the best was the opening line. Hey Joey, can you do me a favor? I said, that's, <laughs> that's, that's we were, I go for the love of God, tell me what the favor is. That was how Tim Brando asked me. Hey yeah. Frank, can you do me a favor? <laughs> And apparently, uh, they took over my uh, Twitter account. I didn't have access to my Twitter account until... Uh, You'll get it back. You just got to email guests. Until around noon today. Uh, and, I have uh, link that I sent him. They sent... Uh, so he just sends him a bunch of nudes right away? So today, God. today, uh, whoever hacked Tim Brando hacked me. And then they sent all those oh, yeah. DMs to everyone. You guys included. I got it. Yeah. I don't know if I got it. I might have. Well, you, know what, dude, you know who... Uh, next group. Uh, what you call, uh, the auctioneers on... Uh, Pawn Stars. They got it? Yeah, they got a DM for me. <laughs> the auctioneers on Pawn Stars? You, you mean like Chumley? Chumley? Yeah. Chumley. Uh, not, Chum not Pawn, uh, uh, Storage Wars. Oh, oh, yes. I used to love Storage Wars on the History Channel. Uh, yeah. Back, um, in, back in my smoking days. And then they had, uh, I, uh, I DM'd a couple of Mets, including Luigi Hormi. Did he respond? Uh, he didn't respond yet, but I basically well, I did. sent out warnings to everyone that got DM'd that I was hacked. and. Hopefully now I get everything back. And you're still anti-child. Yes, I am. Okay. Death penalty. <laughs> well, that's all that matters. Anything on the Mets? Any quick, uh, quick, well, quick, yeah, happening there? quick, that was a quick good, that was a good update. Game last time. Yeah. going to hell. It's 30 seconds. Oh, Ed Luis Diaz is back and worse than ever. And today, Thomas Shapucky's pitching. Thomas Shapucky, who actually a couple years ago missed a couple games, he's got whiplash from looking at a home run. Thomas Shapucky has an... Uh, We're doing call, the 10-second countdown on the Mets. Him, uh, Buzz Lightyear because his ERA is going to be infinity and beyond. This is going to be the, the, the Three, Mets are not going to win another game two, until June 15th. Hey, what happens when this rundown's out right now and the Mets are up 5 nothing tonight? After Kerbucky pitches eight scoreless. Shabucky couldn't get eight scoreless against anyone in this wall. More like, more like Jasucky. Super sucky. Good. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Got him. Is that Double whammy. Thank you, Tank. Uh, what else well, we got? That's, well, that's, that was my evening. Um, <laughs> Here we go. Here's a, here's a, here's a, here's a, sto here's a story that hits close yes. to home. Uh, I didn't sign it, though. The NBA like is reportedly it. close to expanding after 2020. Hold on. Here's a story that hits close to home for Barstool. The NBA is reportedly close to expanding after 2024, putting teams in Las Vegas and Seattle. Um, the reason I say this is close to home is because our very own Alex Bennett's evil stepfather <laughs> yes. was the man who stole the Seattle Supersonics from the city promised to keep them there, and then ripped them out, sent them to Oklahoma City Thunder, fumbled the biggest big three of all time by splitting up Durant, Harden, and whoever. Westbrook. Westbrook. Father-in-law. I said father-in-law. Oh, father-in-law, sorry. Father-in-law. That's the big, sorry. Um, <laughs> and so now Seattle will hopefully get a team. I don't know if Bennett's dad, father-in-law, will be involved, or if we are even allowed to I talk about that, but I just did. By the team. You hear Content Kim is looking to buy? She put a bid in. <laughs> well, I heard that Content Kim and Graham yeah. were seen canoodling. <laughs> on, I also heard that. Uh, Hudson Street. <laughs> on Hudson Street? So. Well, they came out of Henry at Hudson's at 3 a.m. She had a scuffed pump on right. and, one, and, uh, and one earring, and, sh and uh, tr uh, Graham was trailing behind with a little mini skirt on. And you know what? I also, I also think Woodruff is in on it because she's out boozing with Bennett so she can distract uh -huh. them. Okay, so we'll see what happens with that those story. Girls are, they, <laughs> those girls talk filthy. Did you hear them on Chicks today? Oh, yeah. Talking about cum. Yeah. Where do you prefer the guy to come? Coming on my stomach, coming on girls' faces, with coming on, like, the boobs. Like, yeah. that's scary when they come close to the hole. That was, that was an interesting video. That was oh really my God. crazy. Where do you prefer the guy comes, Glenn? Right hey? in the hole. Yeah. That was, the st that was their story. Yeah, yeah. On the thing. So we'll see what happens. I wouldn't mind a team in Vegas, honestly, because I feel like a lot of sports teams are going to Vegas. It's a great market. Vegas Golden Knights, shout out Jeff D. Lowe. They're doing very well. Um, in terms of Seattle, I don't really give a fuck. Where are they going to get the players from? Are there enough? Expansion drafts, probably. I don't know. Plenty of people play basketball, Pat. All right, well, maybe I can try out. Um, next topic, Ellen. Cancelled! The, Ellen, the Ellen Show has recorded their last episode and the entire place was crying, probably tears of joy because every one of them yeah, was tortured for 20 fucking years. You're kidding me. Ellen's a nightmare. Um, she, you know, she's a big boozer. She, is she? Good big boozer. What does she, she drink? She went on Stern a while ago. She says, I, I'm t I work out going to be a fucking Mickey Mouse all day. I just want to come home and fucking curse and get fucked up. She drinks like a, like a fish. What do you think oh, she yeah. drinks? Probably gin. She probably gets me. She probably drinks whatever. Um, she was rich. one of the highest paid, well, she I think she was the pi highest paid TV Lesbian. star um, behind 
Judge Judy, who I think makes an she exorbitant, makes like 46 million yeah, a year, an exorbitant amount of money. Ellen was right up there and uh, then with Glennie her. And Glennie Balls. No. Right after. And then Glennie Balls right after. Do we? Who do you think is going to replace Ellen? It's not Wendy Williams. I'll tell you that. Sherry Shepard, I thought. No, Sherry Shepard is on the Wendy Williams show. Oh, Ellen. Who's going to replace Ellen? That time slot. We need another lesbian. No, I've had enough. <laughs> Um, I think we've seen enough. <laughs> I think it should be. Does James Corden have a daytime show or his night? James Corden. He's leaving his I do not want show. James Corden. He's problematic as well. James Corden, I hear, is a nightmare behind closed doors. Yeah. I've heard that from many people. Who would be a good replacement for the Ellen show? She's such a big personality. If you were to cast someone in the office, who could we cast to replace? Spider? No. <laughs> I don't want to see that. Um, I guess it's me. Oh, you'd be great, Joey. I would be great on my own show. Well, you have that Maybe wig. Maybe someone. Joey, would you, if you were as famous and rich as Ellen, wouldn't you be a massive? When I'm as famous yeah, as Ellen. Yeah, won't you be a massive cunt as well? Yeah. Yeah. No, also, no, I won't be a cunt. I'll be, I'll be like, you know, stern, but fair. Mm. As most lesbians are. Yeah. Um, can you grab the, do you want to grab the Ellen wig? No, we don't need the Ellen no, wig. I can't All right, what's it. the next topic? Tom Brady, TikTok of him playing golf through the eyes of a drone goes viral. Did you deflate that ball too? Okay. Yeah. That's the third time you've. I'm not allowed to say that here, am I? No. We didn't deflate balls. I'm only kidding. Can we cut Watch that? Watch this. Oh, how weird. Now I'll deflate Glenny's balls. Thank you, Joey. What is this now? So they're following Watch. the golf ball in the drone. I don't oh, think this God. is real. There's no way. I don't think it's real, real because it's a hole in one. Yeah, there's no way. And the reaction, that's such like a canned reaction. Yeah, that's where the ball went missing. Now it's going to show up. Yeah, that's, there's no way that's real. What was this for? This was just posted on his TikTok regularly. Was there any, like, promo or ad attached to it? I don't understand. No. Oh, yeah, so he's probably invested in a drone company that did this. 42,000, 16, and 4,900. What are the views at? What, 1.4 Did he go back to that team, back to the Buccaneers? Yes, he did. So this next season, he's going to be playing with my friend Gronkowski? Mm-hmm. He was also doing a Subway sandwich commercial, which I thought was interesting because he's not even allowed to eat um, strawberries. A grok right? Well, if we've, all, if we've learned one thing about golf in the past month, it's that it's not that hard. Brandon Walker proved it to us by absolutely drilling balls at the drive. Yeah, range, I still got to so. learn. I got three lessons waiting. I never got them late, though. Three, three waiting? My parents got me lessons for Christmas. I never used them yet. Oh, well, maybe oh. now. Maybe you hop on the foreplay uh, I gotta Marshall use them. Classic. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd like to play golf. I just don't have the patience for it. No, it's a great it. networking thing, too. People love it. But I feel, I think that too, but it's also like, what am I networking for here? I, I get these, yeah. I so checked my old you, email, I had about 700 LinkedIn connections. I'm, I'm just like, should I be like, somebody, have some sort of backup plan? I have all my eggs in this basket. If you meet someone, you're like, oh, let's go with the, let's go with the greens. Everyone loves it. Yeah. When this whole thing blows up, it'll be interesting to see like, who gets jobs and who doesn't. Oh, God, we don't want to think about that. Anyway, oh, here's the Brandon oh, Walker sure. video for those of you who haven't seen. What are they talking about? This is, are you talking about Tom Brady or golf? This is Brandon Walker. We said golf is easy because Brandon Walker, look at how good he hits the ball. Oh. And he makes it look so effortless. And then meanwhile, you got guys who fiddle around with their feet for seven hours. He's very it. athletic. Brandon? Yeah. I wouldn't go that far. Um, anything for the after show balls? What do you got going on? Only stands? You got any, any ladies coming on? Oh, uh, yeah. We, we have a bunch of ladies coming up. Okay. We have the wonderful Laura Desiree on tonight, Casey's pal. They're going to have threesomes together this oh, summer. Oh, so fun. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we got her tonight. Next week, we got uh, a wonderful lady, Amber Sweetheart, from Sweden. Week after that, we got a wonderful lady, Adelia, from L.A. Week after that, we got more people from L.A. We're recording two more on Tuesday. We got two more coming in next Tuesday. So we're, we're hustling That's and That's great, Glenn. Yeah. Now, do, they, do these ladies that come on the show, do you get an automatic free subscription, or do you uh, have no. them to your heart? I just think it's in my heart. How much do you pay in mo per month for OnlyFans? I would have to look. Probably, right. I get maybe like 100 bucks. Um, everyone all together? I don't, I'd, Cause a lot, uh, a lot of a lot of them go free now. A lot of them do free. Cause then they I did you. find I did find a girl the other day. That's like my I think my favorite OnlyFans model of all time. Plug her. And her friggin' uh, her account was twenty four dollars, and I had to subscribe because she's like the hottest girl. Yeah. Yeah. Her, her name's like Happy Little Sprout. What's that, what's I don't even know what kind of a name sprout. it is. But dude, she's the hottest. What's that mean? Her survive. account's only twenty four hours. Twenty four. Twenty four dollars. Oh, wow. So a lot of girls, a lot of girls are making their shit just like free. Why is there no app yet? How do you make money if it's not free? If it's free, uh, you do DMs, DMs. You'll be like, DMs you'll say, DM, hey, like, hey, here's me, here, here's me blowing a guy. Here's me blowing a guy, and, and you it's it. You know, like Glenny used to have a job going through Asa Kira's. It's DMs. illegal. Stop. No, that's yeah, no, not This girl, Sprouty, I, my friend sent me here, and she is like. Yeah, we This is a woman. Is it worth the twenty four ninety nine? Tell us, tell the fans. I, she's not going the full nine, but it's pretty good. You and, see nipples? You see nipples? What about Snurb? Is that a vagina? Yep. 
You see Snurb, you see okay. S. So what else do you need? Yeah. All right. Well, um, everyone else go check out Out and About. Jessica Curson was on the show. Very funny. Um, that's available on YouTube, Spotify, everywhere you find podcasts. Other than that, that is the rundown. Thank you for watching.